mornings filled with meaningful business talk. Giving you useful advice on how to win at your career. I am Randy Bernardino. And I am May and Manzano Gerzon. And this is... Daily, Daily Insight. Insight. Hello! Hi, man! How are you? Hi, Randy! I'm so excited to see you, and I'm so excited to see all of our viewers. I know! This is Daily Insight Home Edition. This is Daily Insight 2.0. I'm so excited, and I'm so happy that we decided to do this again. Yeah. So, how are you? I'm doing well. It, does this look like a, a nice studio that I built for myself? <laughs> yes, it looks great. You're mm -hmm. matching your background, actually. I know. I didn't want to go too far. I didn't have the blue like we have in our normal studio. Oh, yes. We, we all miss the green screen and the studio, proper studio. But, well, home edition is what we can do for now. And it's nice that we're comfortable. Yeah. So what do we have today, Randy? Well, today we are going to start the first episode of Daily Insight Home Edition. So because of lockdown and social distancing, me and Mayan. Unfortunately, we can't meet up with each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But as you can see, we are not in our normal Facebook Live studio. But nonetheless, we are back by popular demand. Yes. It's been almost two years since me Anne and I have hosted Daily Insight together. And so much has changed. me Anne, what's new with you? Oh my goodness, Randy, a lot has changed. So I'm married now, obviously, with my introduction. I am now May and Manzano Gerzon, wow. also a mother. I have a 10-month-old baby boy and also started reporting with uh, our EBC News uh, um, North America for our COVID-19 Liwanagi natin. So I'm an EBC News correspondent and I am now living in New Jersey. How about you, Randy? Wow, you're American now. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even hear the Filipino accent anymore. No, no, no. Now, now you have you're a New kidding. Jersey accent. <laughs> you're kidding. Well, for me, uh, what's new, last year I graduated law school. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. The bar exam. Thank you so much. I find out the results of the bar exam this week. So I'm so excited for you. Me too. And right now, I am currently living in Las Vegas for the time being. That's so exciting. You know, Randy, so many people have reached out to us excited about the return of Daily Insight. Yes, thank you to all of our supporters for your love and encouragement. We also have new viewers who may be tuning in to our new show for the first time. That's true, Mayan. For all of our new viewers, you may be asking, well, what is Daily Insight? Daily Insight is a 30-minute online show that is your source of the latest news in business and technology, inspirational stories behind small and medium enterprises, and useful advice on starting your own business. So, Randy, who do you think would really benefit from this show? A lot of people, really. Our target viewers are entrepreneurs, MSMEs, micro, small, medium enterprises, startups, up-and-coming business owners, and really professionals. That's correct. And some business-minded people of all ages. Now, man, I know you're so excited to start the show. I am, too. But we're going to be on a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to go over the trending business news around the world. Stay tuned. We know you're scared, too. We know you're sleepless and exhausted. We know you want to stay home and be with your loved one. Go to work and put your own life on the line. For others to live. The doctors. Nurses. The medics. Therapists. Right there. Medical assistants. Pharmacists. Medical technologists. Janitorial staff. Clerical staff. And to all of you who still go to work every day. Keep us safe and to provide the things that we need. Please know we are praying for you too. And we 
we promise to stay home and healthy for you. Our love and appreciation goes to you and your families. You are our new heroes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you! Welcome back to Daily Insight. Let's go now to the trending business news. Our first story, U.S. bars larger firms from SBA loans. U.S. agencies tighten the rules on a popular emergency lending program for small businesses and gave large chains two weeks to return funds following a public uproar. Companies that inappropriately received funding under the Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP, have until May 7 to return the funds to the U.S. Small Business Administration. The PPP was meant for mom and pop businesses and their workers. However, the program ran out of money in just two weeks. So the public was outraged when news broke that millions in loans were given to large chains, including some that are listed on the stock market. Now, Mayan, according to this program, the PPP, it was meant for small businesses, but yeah. somehow large chains also received some monetary relief. Yes, and it's just so surprising that these businesses are even listed on stock market. So they're definitely not small businesses. Yes, so they had to give it up. The fact that they even applied for it was yes. just uh, made a lot of people upset because they're thinking, you're a large corporation and this money was meant for us. Me, yes. me and my, uh, my wife, we have a small business, we have a restaurant, mm -hmm. that money is meant for us. So I can see where the people became angry from. On other news, digital video game spending hits a record high. Spending on digital video games hit a record high $10 billion in March as people stuck at home under lockdown turned to gaming, as reported by market tracker Superdata. Console and PC games tend to be popular in Europe and North America, where restrictions on going out were ramped up due to the pandemic. So Nintendo sold 5 million copies in March of its family-friendly Animal Crossing New Horizons, setting a sales record for the most units of a digital console game sold in a single month, Superdata said. The closing of real stores was cited as a factor in gamers purchasing more titles as digital downloads. So Randy, obviously people are stuck at home. So aside from Netflix, aside from binge eating, of course, the <laughs> other options or other, other thing that you want to go to is video gaming. So Nintendo is really making a big profit out of this lockdown. Yes, the, I always wanted to know what was that Animal Crossing maybe because Maybe I'm a little bit older. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know. But it says in the news it's a family-friendly thing. So it's good to know that, that the biggest sale of the company is actually coming from a family-friendly kind of game. Not, you know, like the, the, the wars or yes. <laughs> scary the Personal, you know, shooter, things yes. like that. At least if I ever want to try a game, at least I know that there's this family-friendly game that I can play. Yes. <laughs> I think we should try that one day. So on other news, Randy, what else do we have? Yes. Facebook takes $5.7 billion stake in Geo. Facebook has taken a $5.7 billion stake in Geo Digital Platforms, the business of India's richest man, Mukesh Ambani. The company said this is one of the country's biggest foreign investments. The deal will give the U.S. social media giant a 10% stake in Geo Platforms, part of Ambani's oil-to-telecoms empire called Reliance Industries. Facebook, which has about 400 million users in India, said it wanted to connect the power of WhatsApp, its messaging subsidiary, with the Indian platform, which has grown on the back of a massively successful telecom venture. In four years, Ambani has turned his geo-telecoms unit 
into the country's biggest mobile operator with 388 million subscribers, clobbering competitors with aggressively low pricing. Now, man, I'm surprised that, you know, Facebook is pursuing this venture during this time. I thought some people would be a little conservative with their money, you know, because of uh, people losing their jobs. There is a pandemic. The economy is uncertain. But I guess Facebook is going for it in India. That's very true, Randy. It just shows that Facebook is one successful company that even in this time of pandemic outbreak, people losing their job and businesses, it is thriving. But good for Facebook and good for the employees of Facebook, right? Yeah. Now, I know Facebook isn't the only company that's thriving. Who's another company, Mayan? Oh, yes. On our next news, Randy, Netflix is record signups. Netflix reported soaring profits and subscription surge by almost 16 million. Netflix made a profit of $709 million on revenue in the first three months of this year. However, the company expects viewing and membership growth to decline as coronavirus concerns abate and people can move about freely. Another effect has been the shutdown of show production that has postponed expenses. Streaming television service competitors are in the same situation, but Netflix has a library with thousands of titles and an array of show launches ready to release, its executives noted. Now, Randy, I am, I am one of, of the subscribers of Netflix. I am not surprised that this is happening because I know people who are stuck at home right now, who are all, most of us, are really just, you know, binge watching like Netflix all day. Yes, guilty as charged. I am a, a K-drama fan. So <laughs> yes, after sir. this outbreak, you're going to hear me say, Hana sa sayo, sarang <laughs> You're learning a new language. Which is oh, really yeah. <laughs> but it's like not even useful. It's all romantic comedy <laughs> language. So I don't even know. <laughs> That's still one of the ways. And it's very related to what we're going to discuss today, right? Yes, yes. Now on for our last business news. China builds new football stadiums. China is splurging billions of dollars on new football stadiums, ramping up ambitions to be a superpower in the sport and host a World Cup in 2030. With the coronavirus outbreak receding in China, Chinese Super League champions Guangzhou Evergrande last week began construction on their $1.7 billion new home. With a capacity of 100,000, the Lotus Flower Sheep Stadium will be the world's biggest football arena once it is completed by the end of 2022. The country will have at least 12 major new football stadiums two years from now, said the state-run Southern Metropolis Daily, calling it a new era for Chinese football. Now, Mayan, again, this is something that's surprising me. There's a pandemic going on, but yes. there are some countries that are just thriving, like in China, building these football stadiums. That's true, Randy. I'm actually surprised as well because... To think that we don't want to be too serious and too political here, you know, but um, coronavirus, COVID-19 started in China. But now it's China is actually the one who's, who's starting, starting construction and all that. So, you know, at least uh, it's something for, for sport. It's something that we can look forward to once all of this are over and we're back to normalcy. Now, when we come back, Randy, we'll be discussing our topic, investing in yourself during quarantine. So stay tuned, everyone. Hi, everyone. It's Randy Bernardino, and I'm coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. So like many of you, I am stuck at home trying to social distance myself, you know, trying to stay healthy. But I've realized that I've run out of things to do. Thankfully, I've found out that there are museums offering free virtual tours. One of the places that I've always wanted to visit was the Louvre Museum. So I saw that the exhibits that they have available online for free, and the one that I clicked was the Advent of the Artist. So after clicking on the link, it brings you right into the place and you can see 360 degrees. You can click on the different pictures 
and it also shows a description of what you're looking at. Now, the description unfortunately is in French, but there are some markers that you can zoom in that have English translations. Another museum I visited was the Van Gogh Museum. In that museum, you can click the different areas, you can zoom in, the descriptions are easy to read. The only thing though was that my hand got tired from clicking on the mouse, visiting the different areas. But if you're patient, you can see all of the different paintings that Van Gogh made. Now the last virtual tour I did was my favorite, Hermitage Museum in Russia. They have sculptures, paintings, artifacts, but my favorite part was actually the architecture. Seeing the different beautiful rooms, some of them covered in gold, it was really, really interesting. So if you want to try something new, I highly recommend the virtual museum tour. One, because it's free. Two, you can do it at your own time. And three, you don't even have to leave your house. This is Randy Bernardino, and I am one with 25. Welcome back everyone to Daily Insight. Now on to our topic. Man, what's our topic for today? Our topic for today is investing in yourself during quarantine. So Man and I came up with five things that we all think would be helpful for those of you who are at home. Man, what's the first tip that we can give to our viewers? First tip that we will give to our viewers, enroll in an online class. Get a new degree, get a certification, learn new skills, because a lot of universities, Brandy, are now offering online classes for free, yes. right? So I can finally fulfill my dream of becoming a Harvard student. Harvard uh, student. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully a Harvard graduate, right? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I did already research them. They said you'll enroll in the, um, the class for free, but if you yeah. want to get a certificate, like with your name, like, Harvard University awards Randy Bernard, you know, he's certified in this course, you have to pay for that. So it's a minimal fee, but at least you're going to have more skills yes. and make use of your time while you're in quarantine. And it's still very doable, right? So you just pay for a minimal fee and you learn a lot of things, yeah. even a new course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's our next tip? Number two is to read more. I mean, we have, a lot of us have so much free time. And what are some of the things that we can read on? We can read about new developments in the industry that you're working in. You can read blogs that are catered towards your profession, newsletters, articles, and so many help help books. Now for me, Mayan, I, I like personally listening to podcasts because I get sleepy when reading, but with podcasts, I stay awake and with YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm a fan of podcasts too, but yes, I am a very primitive person, as you know, Randy. <laughs> I still like to go to, to real actual books and flip the pages. Currently, I am reading the How to Win Friends and Influence People. Actually, it's been like months, but you know, it's just difficult to finish a book in one sitting with a baby, but yeah. I'm trying. I have, uh, I've finished the uh, Michelle Obama book, Becoming, if you're familiar mm. with that. So prior to the book that I'm currently reading right now, that's what I, I, pin, I finished, which actually took me a couple of months as well to finish. But yeah, this is a very good tip. This is a very good advice. I would want to read more and uh, focus on just like reading a lot and learning things. Because when you read, you, you expand your vocabulary and yeah. it's like, um, you know, gathering the information and the knowledge that's like giving you giving to you by the author of the book right yeah and i think some people need to think also don't limit yourself to just workbooks or you know something that yes. you do reading that you enjoy like what you said you are reading um that uh that book from like pleasure Obama. reading pleasure reading make sure that it's not just work 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 we have to enjoy this time during quarantine M myself i'm reading uh 
a novel, The Alchemist. Have you ever read The Alchemist? Oh, yes. yes. I've read The Alchemist. It's Paulo Coelho, right? Yes. It's, Paulo yes. Coelho? it's very yes. short. It's not as long. So I thought, oh, maybe I can do this. So this, uh, <laughs> every day I do a few pages before I go to sleep. And that's what knocks me out. <laughs> that's a very good choice. It's a, it's a classic. I love that yeah. book. Thank you, Randy, from, aside from learning new things online and updating your reading books, here is our number three tip. Update your resume. Some of you may be looking for a new job or maybe additional income. So update your LinkedIn, clean up social media sites, create your own professional website, and reach out to job recruiters or your business contacts. You know, and practice job interview. Randy, so really? role play through Zoom, right? Oh, so yeah, that's Randy, true. This is a very important tip that we're giving to our viewers because, you know, um, many, well, sadly, many are losing their jobs, but also there are also other opportunities that they could get into. So mm -hmm. it would be very useful to update their, 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 their resume, as we've mentioned, go mm -hmm. to their LinkedIn account and we mentioned that they have to clear out or clean their social media because we know randy Ooh. that um the human resource departments the the headhunters are actually checking our facebook and instagram yes mm -hmm. as yes. part of their background checking and uh, also we mentioned to practice job interview role play through zoom like what we're doing right now we're using yes. zoom which is a good yes. practice for job interview as if you're the boss and I'm the the job applicant right okay well you're hired <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir <laughs> see you when can practice you... with your friends how easy it is at least you have an opportunity to hang out with your friends and you're doing something productive like practicing for your next job interview correct so what's number four Randy number four is to learn a new skill now that skill can be professional whether it be programming or coding or video editing, or it could be even creative, like learning a new instrument or something in the arts. Now, Mayan, I know that you're doing something very creative right now. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so um, I started painting again. So I used to paint, but not professionally. You know, I, I, can, I call myself a hobbyist. I mm. just paint because I want to try. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I started painting again because we have so much time to kill. Yes. And I'm happy that in, aside from binge watching Netflix, <laughs> which Netflix should thank me for because they are really um, profiting from it. <laughs> well, I decided to paint and also I started baking and uh, what wow. artsy stuff that I... This background that I have, wow. I made those, I made those a couple of days ago. So I just printed some pictures of ours, family pictures and my, my baby's pictures and then just made them as a collage like that as, as a background now. Wow. So how about you, Randy? I wish I did that. I wish I painted this. This is just a <laughs> wallpaper I stuck on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I might as well yeah. just buy from Amazon. Yeah. For me, I am learning uh, a new language. I am trying to learn French. French, you oh, know, the language exciting. of love. Uh, bonjour. And so far, I only, I've only <laughs> learned like two sentences. Je m'appelle Randy. <laughs> the way that, that? What does that mean? It means my name is Randy. <laughs> oh, that's uh, a good start. I know. So I'm not taking the traditional route. What I'm doing is I'm watching shows on Netflix that I've already seen before. And I change yeah. the language to French with French subtitles. That's so smart. So what, yeah. made you, what made you choose French? I know that you have been binge watching K dramas, so yeah. why not <laughs> Korean? <laughs> well, I eventually want to get to Korean, but I just feel like with with French, it would help me professionally in yes. dealing with uh, the world market. You know, there's so many people in Europe that speak French, and mm -hmm. you know, personally, you know, Mayan, when we host the forum. Uh, remember that show where we have ambassadors coming from different Yes, countries? I missed that show. Yes. And a lot of them speak foreign languages like Russian, Spanish, French. And I thought I really want to communicate with them in their native language just to, it's different, you know, speaking to someone in their native language to be able to mm -hmm. touch their heart in that way. So that's why I chose French. That's very inspiring, Randy. It's like you make me want to search for, for online courses of for foreign language as well. 
Yeah, but you, I'm not a diligent student. I, I'm giving an excuse to watch Netflix, so that's why. <laughs> but I feel like I have the accent down. Oh, we'll see. After this <laughs> quarantine, if I can actually communicate. In so, Mayan, what is our last tip? Our last tip, Randy, is exercise. Okay, I have to tell it to myself too. Healthy body equals healthy mind. You know, Randy, I am guilty. I know that we are giving this advice, but yet I'm not doing it. But you know, I'm a mother. I babysit a 20, 21 pounds baby boy. So <laughs> is, that, is that counted as, as exercise? Can you count yes. that? Yes, every now and then. You take Sandro and go like this. I know, throwing him up in the air and stuff like that. <laughs> So I know that you've been exercising, Randy. I know that you've been walking around your 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 village. So yes. um, how does it how does that feel? How does that giving you positivity, well, your energy? I chose walking because I don't like getting tired. I don't like <laughs> exercising. I'm 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 not one of those those gym rats. I I yes. barely do anything. So I chose walking. And what I do when I walk, I walk around my neighborhood. Here in Las Vegas, we are still allowed to roam freely. So what I do is I just go in the neighborhood. And as I'm walking, I'm listening to podcasts. Oh. So that's when I listen to, to books on tape or podcasts. And today, I walked six miles. And for so far for the month of April, I've walked 25 miles. Oh the entire month. My goal is to reach 30, and I have a few more days, and I'm almost there. So every day, little by little, I add one more mile. So if I can do it, if I could do it, anyone could do it. Well, I, I, that's, uh, that's a lot. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so jealous right now, because in Las Vegas, you have a nicer weather, and here yeah. in New Jersey, it's still chilly, and you know, it wow. just it makes you lazy, you know, even though you have the, the, the willpower to go out and walk, it's just that your body doesn't want to because it's chilly and you'd rather binge watch. Not like, oh, so. that's true. But that's a very, um, very uh, good start, Randy, you know, walking. You don't have to be on treadmill. You don't have to like go jogging. You don't have to yeah. like lift weights. Walking is definitely a very, very, it's a very um, enjoyable thing to do because as you said, you're walking at the same time. You're listening to podcasts. Yeah. Just like putting two birds in one stone. And there's, I've, I've noticed that I've been sleeping better that I've been going to bed earlier, like maybe 10 o'clock. Because what I try to do is I try to wake up by 6 a.m. and start walking so that it's not too hot. And then I get tired in the day and I want to go to bed early. By 9.30, I'm already tired. And 10 o'clock, I'm already knocked out. <laughs> I love your schedule. Yes. We hope you enjoyed today's show. And take the time to invest yourself during this time of quarantine. So these are mornings filled with meaningful business talk. Giving you useful advice on how to win at your career. I am Randy Bernardino. And I am May and Manzana Gerzon. And this is... Daily Insight.